Hello, hello, hello. We are back with another video. And special guest. This isn't even a podcast episode. I got my I got my co-host with me on an individual video on the channel. Love it. Look forward to seeing more of these more often outside of the podcast with me and him. So I'm really excited to 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 have him here back for another separate video outside of the podcast. And this is going to be a good one. Um, this one will be NBA focused with all the NBA news going on and, and craziness going on with the offseason moves and just a whole bunch of overall NBA talk. Yeah, NBA there's, a, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on in the offseason right now. A lot of, a lot of money has been spent already on, on sure. certain stars. So yeah, let's just get into this. Obviously the main thing is that the KD asking for a requesting a trade out of the net so i'm gonna let you lead on this one yeah for sure so <clears throat> so for the kd trade overall it was um a few not even i would say it was last week where Kyrie irving was was it wasn't said he wasn't opting into his um his deal which i think was 47 million or 41 47 or 41 no i, th- I thought it was is it 36 because i think i was hearing a couple of days ago that like Russ makes 11 more than him and Russ makes 47. So then that's what so it I would think be. it's 36. Okay. Kyrie makes. Okay. <clears throat> so it was, it was stated that he wasn't opting in. So there yeah. was a, or he, he had the option to opt in and it didn't sound like he was going to do it. So there was a whole a bunch of shambles saying, okay, if Kyrie leaves, where does that leave for Durant? Right. So that obviously had the, the mumblings of, you know, a trade ideas for Kevin Durant, but domino Ke- effect. Exactly. But Kevin Durant wasn't saying nothing. So, all behold, I believe it was Tuesday when we were recording. I think that's when we were recording. I think we were no, Monday, 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 Monday. So, that I think we were editing episode two. Yeah, yeah. And we found out that Kyrie obviously opted in. And um, which kind of, you know, set like, I guess, like, I don't know, made it made everything a little bit silent in regards to the Brooklyn situation or mm-hmm. propaganda that was going on. And I, all behold, uh, two days later, Durant... I think was free agency, and right as soon as it happened, Durant requested a trade from the Brooklyn Nets. It shocked the world. Yep, shocked the world, put the NBA world in a frenzy. And um, how many years remaining? Four. Four. Like that's so much. Yeah. Like yeah, he just signed the extension um, <clears throat> last year. And um, for Durant, um, hit it's right after he demanded that trade or requested the trade. Uh, it was stated that he wanted the two places that he would like to land were Phoenix and Miami. Yeah. And over the time period, as all the NBA people that are involved in the NBA world, all the reporters and all that stuff discuss the trade, it shows that it doesn't. It's not really more so ideal for them to get that trade off for Phoenix or Miami. It doesn't really make that more sense. And now this is where um, we go into from Brooklyn side. From Brooklyn side. Yeah. Because from Phoenix, it's like who are you really gonna give up? Miles Bridges. I mean, they had to sign and trade Aiton. Which I don't, which they're not even trying to pay him enough money for 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 Max anyway. So I don't yeah. know if that even goes into what Durant's getting made or makes it equal enough. Yeah, and then probably a few picks. Um, for Miami, it's Durant already stated yesterday that if it's not if 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 Lowry, Bam, or Jimmy are not there, he doesn't want to go. He, like he's not. It's it's not ideal for him to go to Miami if those three aren't there. So now, like for, all of them, he's like, yeah, he's like Lowry. He's like, I want Lowry, Jimmy, and Bam to be there. But Lowry was included in that trade. In that, so he's like, if they're not there, I'm not, I'm not really here for okay. it. So it's like on Pat Riley's side, I know he's a genius, and I know he's a demon too. It's like, what do you really? And Pat Riley's not listening to this guy. You know to, what I mean? What, what do you mean? Like to, Pat Riley isn't gonna listen to what Durant, Durant has to say. What has to say? Hundred like, percent. Pat Riley's gonna do what Pat Riley wants to do. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And um, but let's say if that's the case, if he doesn't want to give up any of those guys. Who do you really have to give? I mean, Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, a few picks. It's like you have to give all role players, and I don't really see that um, happening. And that's where the Raptors come involved now. Now, when Kyrie was doing his um, his um, opting in and opting out, deciding what he wanted to do, Raptors were talked about, or were said there was a few touches here and there of people saying, oh, yeah, Raptors could potentially get him. But I didn't really think into it until he requested the trade. Yeah. So now it's like, okay, so now... When it, he first demanded the tra- requested the trade, we were fifth in odds, um, and now as of today, we are third in odds with plus seven hundred to acquire Durant, which is good in Vegas, according to Vegas, as of literally just now. And who's two and one? I guess Miami Phoenix. Oh, still okay. It's yeah, still yeah, them. It's still, okay. still them because that's where he wants to go. So yeah, right? so, yeah okay, makes sense. Makes sense. So yeah. now that's where I, that's where the excitement for me as a Raptors fans comes in because it's like we have the pieces, but it's like. 
there's pieces that I don't want to see go. But at the same time, I would love to see Durant here for quote unquote four years. It's not a guaranteed four years. It's under a contract four years. So that means what if he comes to Toronto and he's like, yo, honestly, after one, after one year, be like, yeah, I'm not about this. Or two years and I'm like, I'm not about this. Yeah. So technically, for that reason alone, I feel like from a size standpoint, it's like you really got to be careful of who you're really giving up here and what picks. And like the picks, I don't really, for me personally, picks aren't really big for me. It's more so the players that I've already seen. You know what I mean? Because I know, I know, especially you, it's like, you know, when guys get drafted, I'm like, yo, this guy's going to be nice, but look, I got to see something. You know what I mean? Me personally. Right? I know you. I know you. you I know you. You know me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, even, yeah. Even and even our... I feel the same way. So it's like picks. I don't know who those picks are. And, the yeah. Ra- and for the Raptors, it's like, I don't see them. I've only seen them, like, out of this last eight year run, of, I've, we've only had, like, one losing season. Yeah. Which was the when we were in the bubble. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, our mindset would be to, to continuously win, right? So it's like, what what picks are you are you really getting if we're going to keep winning, right? The future picks. So it's like, so that's why in this situation, for me, the pick, I don't really care for the picks. I don't, I don't care about no damn picks. That's what I... <laughs> like, well, like, like the, like the, like the, Ram, remember how the Rams won the Super Bowl mm-hmm. this past yeah. Super Bowl? Yeah. And what did the GM say? Fuck them picks, man. Fuck them picks. Yeah. Fuck them picks. Send KD. And even though, and honestly, like, you know me, obviously I've been an OKC fan. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean from time, and obviously I have there. I even have like a deep. I know how disgusting this guy is because mm-hmm. I was preaching He's, about I, from day one. I was preaching about KD before most people were preaching about KD. Mm-hmm. I was the one talking about yo, this nigga's that guy. So don't worry, scoring title this year and next. I was the one preaching that guy, but obviously he went and he left OKC for nothing in free agency and left my team in shambles. Mm-hmm. Right, so. And then he, on top of that, he goes to Golden State mm-hmm. after being up three on one. So I, I do have, I am kind of burned. Obviously, I've gotten over it. So, yeah. you know what I mean? We Obviously, I'm hyping to a degree. I'm just talking from my fan perspective. Uh, but I, my, my, my basketball purest self, like I will never let any, let any of that interfere with now. Yeah. I will take KD in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. And like you said, remember, like I brought up, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get a real like, guy. Like, There's a real, yeah. real nah, guy on you. the team back. Because it was just like when we had Kawhi, it just felt different. Yeah. It did. You know what I mean? Like I, I can't even just pinpoint it, but it's just like when you have that guy, it, 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 it really is just a difference maker, especially in the NBA. Yeah. So like I would definitely take KD in a heartbeat. And again, like if this guy comes and he leaves, like yo, I don't feel no ways. And and. I don't feel ways like if if we go back into rebuild mode again. Not rebuild. I guess at some point, I, yeah, even that because it's just like I wouldn't. I definitely would not mind another championship. Mm-hmm. Cause like who wouldn't? Run? <laughs> now that we now that we got teased, it's mm-hmm. like yeah, like I I definitely wouldn't mind more. Or taking the chance to get that feeling again. Yeah, but don't 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 get that twisted because it's just like that was not too long ago. So I still have the taste of it on my mouth a bit. Mm-hmm. So I could be a little bit patient because we've been patient. Mm-hmm. Been losing for time, and now when we finally got it, so it's like we, us Toronto Raptor fans have been patient. We know how to be patient, so it's just like, yeah, like now that we've gotten one, I know like you know what I mean it's a possibility to do it again. So again, like yep. if if he doesn't feel like coming here, like I don't feel no ways, but I'm not gonna be stupid and be like I don't want Kevin Durant. I've been saying from time I want a real, real, real guy on back on the team because it makes a difference. And if it was KD, I'll take it. <laughs> now, like. Segwaying yeah. into that, so it's like, what are we really g- re- willing to give up? Like, are you like, like they're saying? Most people are saying the main thing that Brooklyn's gonna want is Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes. Now, are you willing to give up Scotty Barnes and other people? It depends who, but being the- Scotty Barnes being the main piece in that package, are you willing to give that up for Kevin Durant potentially? Yes. And that's what I'm saying. I had a feeling you would say yes. Me personally, um, and it's so funny. And I, I like Scotty Barnes, and I was telling you. Like, I, I know I really, you do. I know you he do. He grew on me a lot this year. I, I do like Scotty Barnes, so don't get it twisted. Uh, but it's the thing. It's like I asked you. I, maybe I do like, like him. I, I remember I asked you like I think maybe I don't know maybe a month ago. I was like, um, do you see Scotty being on that superstar esque like level? Or, I don't know if I, I something along those lines. I'm like, do you see it next I, year, or do you see him being on that superstar X level? And you're like, ah, oh, you're like, I don't really know. I, I, yeah, for me, like, where do ju- you see him peaking at like a 22 to 23 point scorer? I, I again, That's I don't think it's so it's hard. Like, 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 I don't think, like, because again, I don't think people understand how hard it is to be a 20 point per game scorer average. Mm. 
average to have an average of 20 points on an 82 game season like that that shit is not easy mm. so for me to say that like if anything i could see him more maybe more being like a 17 because mm-hmm. i don't even think clay was a full 20 in his prime an average it might have been just 20. it might have been just so it's not 20, it's not even yeah. like it's not easy to average 20 so like i don't know if i see scotty barnes like that um yeah so it's just like like for me personally with this trade if the messiah is on the phone trying to make calls i for my personal ideal for a trade um that i saw that's all the best one last night i was watching my other youtube videos and i saw the best one would probably be og gary Trent jr um two future round three future first round picks and, and three f- and like four swaps, swaps or something yeah i seen that too. i'm cool i'm cool with that i'm cool with that i'm cool with that. <laughs> i'm cool with that if Ew. if because in my eyes, I don't see Brooklyn getting anything better than that from Phoenix or Miami. I don't. Yo, honestly, you know what's funny, though? I, like, I I would take... If somehow they would take Pascal... Maybe I'm hating. I would go in there, too. But also, I would also try and fleece. Because if you look at the Kawhi trade, most people forget that, like... Well, obviously, we don't forget. But it's like, we got Danny Green with that, too. So we yeah. gave two for two. We gave Jakob Pertl and DeMar DeRozan for... Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green so it's kind of like I wouldn't sleep on Messiah bringing back maybe one more role player with Kevin Durant so I'm looking at maybe Joe Harris I'm looking at maybe um, Seth Seth and I'm also looking at Bruce Brown I'll take any of those three to come with Kevin Durant if you can do that with four swaps and three picks better, yeah. you better you better give me one more with that yeah but honestly like I yo if we could somehow do Pascal and like one of those OG Gary Trent and I'll keep, give up, yeah. and keep Scotty Mm-hmm. With KD, Fred. And Fred. Honestly, I'm not gonna hold you. I, w- I kind of want to keep Gary Trent. I do. If we somehow he's a could, getter. he's a bucket getter. I love Gary. And like he's a shot creator. So like, mm-hmm. that's what I I'm really saying. would like to keep Gary Trent. But, but giving up we- Pascal and OG, it's a lot. Because I think Pascal can play really good beside. But I think Scotty Barnes could also play so? good beside. Yeah. KD and I think it's tough. I think again. Scotty Barnes was only his first year, and like I think he has more room to grow than Pascal. Like I've seen a lot from Pascal, and like I've been seeing the same kind of like stuff. And like obviously, like he's still young himself, Mm -hmm. so there's still room to grow. But if I were to say, and I don't know if you agree with me, but like whose upside do you think is higher between who Scotty and Pascal? I'd say probably Scotty's. I would also. Yeah. Right. I would. And that's where it's like. If some, I would rather, and I know the like it may not line up, and and Brooklyn may want Scotty, Rookie of the Year, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But from Toronto's perspective, like I think I would rather give a Pascal, keep Scotty beside KD. I'm here for it. I know you're saying you know I'm I mean? here and for even, it. Even even OG, because again, if we get like Seth or Bruce Brown, who's gonna who, you're cool with giving up OG with that too with Pascal. Yeah. So am I. I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, yeah. If I'm giving you a whole bunch of picks and I give you Scotty and sorry, not Scotty. If I give you um OG and Pascal, you better you better think Masai is probably gonna get one more player back. And if it's any of those three key role players, I'm cool with. I'm Maybe cool with all. Joe three of those Joe players. Harris Joe Harris Bruce Brown or Seth Curry. I'm cool with all of those. Same. You know what I mean? So, um, it's gonna be interesting to see. I don't think um the Raptors or sorry not the Raptors. I don't think the Brooklyn Nets are gonna really make a trade like off a rip. I really think they're gonna you know sit with it and maybe. Obviously, there's probably 29 other teams that are all, the rest of the NBA is probably looking out of their options to see if they can acquire this guy. Yeah. So I'm sure Brooklyn's phone's ringing off the ringing off the hook right now. So they're probably taking in every single situation um, possible. But like I said, from the from from the Vegas standings of how it is right now, I don't see it happening with Phoenix, and I don't see it happening with uh, Miami. I do see it happening with Toronto. Maybe I'm being a little biased, but there was another one that was also um, big. Was that was um, New Orleans. And honestly, yo, they have I, so many pieces. It's like, I see. Honestly, if anything, I really see the Raptors or New Orleans kind of actually pulling it off because they have so much to mm-hmm. offer. Like, if, I think New Orleans might even have more to offer. Than can us. you imagine? Like, because they're probably gonna have to give up Ingram. Yep, they have CJ. But there. like, can you imagine CJ, KD, and Zion? Like, that's crazy. a problem. Yeah, that is a problem. Like, that's a problem. Yep, that's crazy. Like, I'm. <laughs> Yeah, so it really is going to be interesting to see where he lands because obviously Katie is one of like the three people in the league that wherever he lands, it's going to shake up 
everything completely. And like honestly, like guys, if you're watching in the comments, like um, let us know like uh, if you see any trade scenarios where you think that's that that's awesome that we could probably look up and be like, yeah, that might More be a good value, trade yeah. too. Yeah, let us know what trades that you've been seeing or what options that uh, you think that Brooklyn would probably take from the Raptors uh, for for Kevin Durant. Um, very excited to see what happens. Um, I just there's just something in my bones that tells me he's like Masai is just really gonna probably gonna try something. And if, if we don't get Durant, yeah. also I want to see what was on the table. Like what was the final offer on the table? Sometimes yeah. stuff leaks after it says they were asking for this, this, and this. I want to know what was off getting offered on both sides. So yeah, very interested to see what happens. Uh, Kevin Durant, if you're me coming too. to the Raptors, man, it's a great city. Um, you'll have a lot of fun. I'm know Bro, you're cool you got your, you got your boy Drake here, yeah. man. Y'all could y'all could live it up. You're single. He's single. Y'all could y'all could tear up Toronto, man. Yep. Yeah. Come on now. I heard man. you're already dealing with porn stars all the low, so. Come on, man. That's Drake's bag. <laughs> That's Drake's bag, man. Yo, out, yo, 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 come, yo, come, come through. Come, come through. through. We got championships to win. <laughs> like, yo, come on, man. Come on. All right, so you want to segue. This is gonna be just a quick a quick overview overview, but do you wanna just kinda of go through the moves that have already been made with regards to like who's going where? Yeah. How much um, the how much they sign for and, and that stuff? Yep, for sure. Um, so there's only been two days in free agency and obviously i think the biggest one so far was um the rudy gobert trade yes okay so um, I, I i don't get it but i don't i i i, I can really go into that I, i'm gonna go into it a bit while you look up some of this stuff okay i really don't get it at the end of the day when if minnesota makes the playoffs and they're playing cat's gonna end up being at the five anyway you think so yeah you're putting rudy gobert at the four no i'm saying rudy gobert's on the bench really Bro, he gets cooked. <laughs> he gets cooked in the playoffs. He gets cooked. Like I he, was thinking the Twin Towers. I think they're trying to bring it the Twin Towers. Maybe. Twin we'll Towers see how, we'll back, see how it like, goes. But he gets cooked, bro. No, 100%. He definitely does. Hold so on, I, I, I don't really get it. I don't really get it. I honestly think Minnesota took a step back in a sense. And they were in the playoffs yeah. last year. They were literally kind of going toe-to-toe toe toe a bit with Memphis, who was second. Yep. So I, I don't really get it too much. Yeah, um, that trade. Um, I just seeing right now, Darius Garland and the Cavs agree to a five-year, one hundred ninety-three million dollar max extension. Good for him; he deserves it. Okay. He, he balled out this year without Colin Sexton for sure. Um, you know what I notice in free agency a lot? A lot of people are leaving the Warriors. Yeah, because they got that. To, Toscano's got, gone, or um, yeah, because they got their they got a ring, and they're probably getting offered more bags from other places. Yep. So it's like I, I got a gone. ring. Like, I got a ring. Like I'm out. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, uh, Devin Booker is about to sign that Supermax. I think, I don't know if he's done it already, but he's about to. It's good for him. Um, Pacers have engaged in trade talks with teams for Miles Turner. We knew that already. Actually, eh? Yeah, well, that's only a matter oh, of yo, time. Can we talk about the Boston Malcolm Brogdon pickup? Yes, that's, that's that might be the biggest dangerous. one. Dangerous. That would be the biggest one. That, they didn't give up much. They didn't. They didn't and it's like they much. finally, yo, they're, they're, they're going to be back. And if they didn't make this move, I could have seen them taking steps back. As in not, so? not, as think, in not yeah. second. They might have been like fourth. Like mm -hmm. with this move, like this is very interesting. They're they're going to be deadly. Because Malcolm Bro I've been a Malcolm Brogdon fan for a long, long time. So for the for the Rudy Gobert trade, uh the Timberwolves receive Rudy Gobert. The Jazz receive Patrick Beverly, Malik Beasley, Walker Kessler, Jared Vanderbilt. Leonardo Ball, Leonardo Balmaro, and multiple first round picks. That's a lot, man. Like, but it's just like okay. the Patrick Bevin Beasley one. Like, yeah, like me either. Honestly, right? to tell you the truth, like I don't, I don't even, I didn't even look too much into that trade just because I'm like, what are they me, doing with that? To me, both those teams aren't even doing anything. You know what I mean? And for Jazz and Minnesota fans that may be watching, don't think I'm hating. I'm just like, I don't think that that move really did anything too great. No, that's I just agree. me, though. That's no, just me. No, hundred percent, I agree. Um, for so for now, for the Celtics and Pacers trade, the Celtics obviously receive, obviously receive uh, Malcolm Brogdon, and uh, the Pacers receive Daniel Tice, uh, Aaron Nesmith, uh, Nick Stauskas, Malik Fitz, and a bunch of guys I don't know, and Juan Morgan, and a 2023 first round pick. So you basically give a bunch of scraps and a first round pick for Malcolm Brogdon, which is a good deal. Um, Brad Stevens obviously is in the head office now. Did 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 some work there for real. That was awesome. He seems like he knows what he's doing up there still. He does. He sounds like it really does seem like it. Um, Kevin, uh, you see the Kevin Herter to the Kings one? That was weird. That was weird. I, I, honestly, I'm, 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 it's so funny that you said it was weird because that's exactly what I kind of thought too. So I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Resigning. Uh, Ner uh, Yusuf Nurkic signed a four year 70 million dollar deal. Yeah, with Portland. Deal. Yeah. Yeah, to stay. Yeah, I've seen that. Zach Levine agreed to a five year $215 million deal. Uh, I'd probably cap him at 190. 
Randy 95, not 215. But, but they, I mean, they probably had to do they, it still they to kind of stay yeah, relevant sure. with yeah, him yeah. and Rosen. Yep, for sure. Um, and then they're saying now... Oh, I'm seeing, look at this too. The Bulls have been a part of phone calls for Kevin Durant, but I don't think that's going to happen. That's no, and I know that other big one was DeJounte Murray to, to Atlanta. Atlanta. That was a big one too. Yeah. Let me see if I could find that detail on that one. That, might, you, that, that was pretty good. That was. They, honestly... Yo, losing that, Gallinari is pretty big though because there were certain cases where Trey Young was struggling last year and Gallinari was the one that kind of like helped out a bit another in scoring was, um, so the other, Bog, the other Bogdan guy Bogdan oh he's finished. gone no he's still there but I'm saying like that oh, was one of the okay, guys who okay, used to okay. help him get buckets because yeah, 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 he's a yeah. bucket getter but if they were able to keep Gallinari I would have been re- I would have been more interested I think for sure what do you think of Otter Porter coming to Toronto Rapids for two years oh yes I don't know I just, ask me, like I'm, I'm more skeptical when it comes to like, yeah, I, I, I don't know, like it could be really good, but it could just be he's there, hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like it, it could be he actually is a act, like a really good helpful piece, mm-hmm. and especially if we somehow get KD, if we get KD, but that is a good piece. That would be it. a solid piece to have in the rotation. And we're three signing Thaddeus Young. So, yeah, but outside of that, it's like say we just have. The roster we have. how it is. He could be a solid piece, or he could just be a guy that mm. he just comes in randomly it... because a couple man's got injured, or like that's where it's like I don't, no, I, I, I don't know I see, about that. I, I, see I don't him know about Bernard. that. I, I see him getting Bernard, but just pretty weak, man. It's pretty yeah. weak, and that's the thing. It's like um, Masai's really doing that that small ball thing, so he's another like guy with like a six seven foot wing, wingspan or whatever and you know he's six foot seven small ball guard with a long wingspan so it's kind of like it's just one of those guys to fill into the small ball role but i do see him getting he's another guy like i said he's another guy who left the warriors but so it's like i do see him getting burned because our bench is pretty weak i would see him and thaddeus being like elite defenders off the bench along with resigning boucher as well but boucher needs to step it up a little bit i, I think um he can do a little bit better but yeah it's another piece and yeah gary P- gary payton the second got his money with blazers too yo everyone was leaving the warriors it's crazy. Yeah. That's like four men's. No, there was like a lot, Four yeah. key men's. So, yeah, I'm looking to see what, what they do. They obviously resigned Kevin Looney. Uh, Nikola Jokic and the Nuggets are expected to agree on a five-year, $260 yeah. million dollar max extension. Yeah, I've seen that. That's crazy. That's a lot of money. But I mean, yeah, so I mean back, he's back to back MVP, which I don't agree yeah, with. But I don't want to yeah. get it. I don't, I don't even want to get into I know, you know, I know. I, know. I don't want to get into that. The first one, okay, but he should not have been MVP last year. Yo. I don't, don't, I, don't, I, agree. don't I Don't tell me otherwise. Yeah, uh, Drummond went to the Chicago Bulls. Yeah, okay. Drummond just be bouncing around. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't even, like... They need, though. They Honestly, like, he be, they'll be great with, like, off the bench for, um, um, oh, my goodness, Vucevic. He'll be great. Um, yeah, and other than that, it's nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy after All right. That. Yeah, okay. Well, if that's that's all the moves. Obviously, this and, and the big stuff is the KD stuff. We might, might end the video here. Mm-hmm. So not too long. So the KD stuff is obviously the big stuff. We are from Toronto, like we've mentioned in, in like our podcast and stuff. You know, what I mean, I got the championship hoodie on right now. So KD come through, and obviously, when once this move is actually like settled and done, we'll, we'll probably come together and make another video on on where he land and how it's gonna affect the NBA. Because again, wherever he lands, it will affect the NBA. So. Yeah, and let us know what you think, guys. Like, let us know what you think of um of our of our takes here on on ball, and let us know if we could relate to you guys or if you relate to us. And like I said once again before, like let us know um what um what trade scenarios you think are best that what Masai should do in order to acquire KD on the Toronto Raptors, or even just where you think he might end up from that other as well. teams and who they'll give up to kind of acquire KD's services, or where do you think he's going overall? Anything, let us know, guys.